24 hours after that dramatic rescue of a dog from the LA River, the story of that pup named Scooby is still drawing a lot of interest today. CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen is live in Studio City where the dog was plucked from that fast moving waters just not that long ago, 24 hours ago, Jeff. Yeah, that's right, Jeff and Pat. You know, the water level at the LA River today is much lower than it was yesterday afternoon when Scooby was finally captured right below that bridge right there. Soon after that, the big question was, how do you get a dog that's about 100 pounds up the wall right here? Well, now we have new helmet cam video to give you a better idea. It all unfolded on live TV Monday afternoon as the dog named Scooby drifted down the LA River. He was separated from his owner after the river swelled in the rain and there were several failed attempts to rescue him. Then, right in front of our broadcast center, onlookers cheered as LA City firefighters lassoed to Scooby. But LA City Animal Services Officer Armando Navarrete says the hard work wasn't over. But all that work would have gone to shame if we would have just said, oh, we put something on him, ropes, and now he gets out, and now he's back in the water. No, leave that one on for now. Yeah. You want two points? Yeah, just in case he bites through my rope. From this helmet cam video, you can see Scooby was in fight or flight mode as Officer Navarrete tried to apply a rope muzzle. It was important to do it carefully because nobody wants to get bit and also to extract them and get them in the harness was our next step after that. Next, Officer Vanessa Flores needed to put Scooby in a specialized canine harness like this on the nearly 80-pound German Shepherd mix to get him up a 25-foot concrete wall. The dog was super rattled up, so probably exhausted at this point, but his nerves were still up. Um, he was in, in his fight mode. Officers say the harness has an added benefit. It's almost like a compression type of stress relief blanket or, or sweater. When they're in there, now they feel a little more comfortable and they feel a little more relaxed, which is what we want to do, keep them relaxed. Crowds had formed along the way to witness the fire department and animal services finally hoist Scooby up with Officer Flores up top. And here he is in that harness. It's something totally new for, for me at least. So it really, really sticks out something special, something that I'm really thankful that I was a part of. And Animal Services says that officers chose to not tranquilize Scooby because the medication could have been lethal when his body temperature was so low. We are also told that he was reunited with his owner last night. We are live in Studio City. Jeff Nguyen, CBS 2 News. Well, that is good news indeed. Thanks so much, Jeff. And